as we discussed the genito urinary system has two parts genitals and the urinary system so the testicles and the penis they form the reproductive organs and they are the genitals and the cancers of this the testicular cancer or the penile cancer they are called uh, uh, the genital cancers so uh, testicular cancers to be taken separately they occur more uh, in the younger age group around 20 to 30 years or even sometimes in 40 years of age uh, and the penile cancers uh, they are more uh, commonly seen in uh, the cultures or the countries or people who don't follow the religious uh, practice of circumcision so people who are circumcised practically they don't have a risk of developing penile cancer the symptoms and signs of testicular cancer as we can understand is any abnormal increase in the size of the testicle and uh, the testicle becoming hard and painless these are the signs of uh, testicular cancer so anybody who feels that the testicle has become hard and painless has to visit a doctor as far as the penile can cancer is concerned uh, people who have high sexual promiscuity and multiple sexual partners they develop sexually transmitted diseases and ulcers so the ulcer if it doesn't heal quickly or if there is a growth coming on the skin of the penis then he has to visit the doctor quickly so these are the very obvious signs and symptoms of uh, uh, testicular and uh, penile cancers first thing is uh, for the diagnosis as soon as we see a patient with that uh, kind of a lump or a growth uh, in the testicle or the penis we uh, examination is a very important part then we need to take uh, the imaging for uh, testicles we do ultrasound and we send a blood tests for confirming whether uh, there is a risk of uh, testicular cancer uh, as far as the penile cancer is concerned once we see an ulcer it is a direct biopsy we need to pick up some part of the tissue from that particular growth or the ulcer and send it to the pathologist for diagnosis to check for the spread whether the uh, disease is spread into the abdomen or in the chest which happens with testicular cancer we need to do ct scan of the abdomen or ct scan of the chest to detect whether it is spread or not treatment for testicular cancer so first of all once we know that there is cancer then we have to remove the entire testicle so it is a surgery where the testicle is removed following the removal of the testicle we get a final report and there are two different types of uh, testicular cancer as per that uh, radiation treatment or uh, treatment by chemotherapy is uh, the mainstay in the treatment of testicular cancer a uh, more important in understanding testicular cancer for the patient is that he has to follow up with the doctor regularly with blood tests and uh, x-rays or even sometimes a ct scans uh, this will be advised by the urologist taking care of that patient as far as the penile cancer is concerned uh, unfortunately the ulcer uh, if it is big we may have to remove uh, either uh, partly or totally the penis has to be removed so that's again a very major and a mutilating surgery for the patient but if it is detected early then what we can do is there are some creams or chemotherapeutic creams or very specialized radiation therapy where the specific area of the ulcer can be radiated and uh, the penis need not be completely surgically removed so uh, unfortunately uh, in terms of penile cancer when it occurs the surgery is very mutilating after treatment concerns for testicular cancer especially uh, the person feels that he has lost a very important organ of the body so there are uh, uh, artificial implants or prosthesis which is called uh, testicular prosthesis available for implanting into the scrotum so that he feels that the testis is still present in patients uh, sometimes who have both the sides right and left testicular cancers then they need to be treated by hormone replacement therapy they have to take testosterone which is a hormone produced by testes for the rest of their life the further details uh, of this particular hormone replacement is to be discussed with the urologist or the doctor treating that patient as far as penile cancer is concerned uh, it is a difficult situation for the patient because it is a new lifestyle he has to pass urine in a different way and uh, we have to as surgeons 
make alternative and easy route for the person to pass urine. Again, this uh, being very technical, uh, it can be discussed by the patient with the treating doctor. Mm -hmm.